Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Hope you all had a lovely weekend. Uh, happy 4th of July, lovely holiday weekend. All right, so we're gonna get into your messages to see for the rest of July what the love messages are for you. Please be mindful, these are general messages, so some may relate, you may or may resonate for you, others may not, just keep what fits, leave the rest, don't try to force it. Um, and if you want to, if there's an extended reading to this video, um, if I decide to do an extended, the link will be directly below this video, okay? All right, you guys, let's get started. See what the messages here are for Virgo. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Virgo, okay. So you have the chaser. Chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issue, okay? So somebody here is in a chasing position. Okay, let's see what that is. It doesn't have to be somebody you're currently connecting with. This just could be somebody um, that that's the energy that they display most of the time okay it could be a codependent relationship all right let's see what else okay coffin endings bring new beginnings growth change liberation transition all right something ended and somebody's chasing that <laughs> so it doesn't end somebody's having a, a hard time letting go of some type of an ending Let's see. A coffin can represent the death card a lot of times. So, you know, death is often with these changes come new beginnings. It's transformation, transition. But somebody's having a hard time letting go of something that they feel is over or that they feel someone's abandoned another person. Okay, let's see. Virgo, 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 Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Okay. Yep, I'm going to leave it there. I think that's all they're trying to say. All right, let's get into this reading and see what's going on. Sorry that it's so dark. I'll try to brighten up the video when I upload it. Okay, let's see. What is going on here, Virgo? You guys able to hear me okay? I may have to turn up the gain. Let me see. I think that's up as high as it's going to go. Okay. All right, let's see. Virgo, what are Virgo's messages for July? Virgo, sun, moon, rising, or Venus? Okay. So, Wheel of Fortune. Okay, Wheel of Fortune. Four of Swords. Ooh, Knight of Cups. Page of Pentacles. Six of Wands, Near Future, The Sun, Position of You, Seven of Swords, External to You, Ace of Swords, and Possible Outcome, Nine of Pentacles, and Four of Pentacles. Okay, bottom of the deck here. Somebody's in a position, of feeling like they're in a stuck position, um, trying to see things a little bit differently, but this is a waiting energy, can't get out of, this is basically the equivalent of being stuck in traffic and trying to make the best of it. Okay, so somebody is stuck in something. They can't move, they can't move forward, they can't move backwards, they can't move side to side, they can't leave the situation um, without, <clears throat> excuse me, abandoning their vehicle, quote unquote. Um, so this is kind of like, all right, well, I've got nothing left to do here so maybe I'll just try to like turn the music up and listen to the music you know the situation only gets worse if we start cussing other people out and then letting the anger build up and then rage in traffic starts and, and that kind of thing so this is like making the best of a bad situation here okay here's the death card and the ten of swords oh my goodness the five of wands and the queen of pentacles with the six of okay six of cups and oh my gosh judgment and and the ace of cups and the two of cups what the heck okay so something has definitely come to an end here and somebody is here trying to find a way that somebody wants to reunite make a, a, a new love connection with you try to start all over start at the beginning after with its tower something fell apart in the world somebody walked away or something ended so there's definitely something going on here okay where somebody's like there's conflict i don't want this to end I, this this cannot be over this could not have happened 
Um, I know I can't do anything about it right now, but I'm doing my very best to make the best of a bad situation. But I really want to have a new start and try to find common ground or mutual understanding. Okay, wow. All right, so the past position definitely with the Wheel of Fortune, the Wheel of the Year, something shifted. There was a major turning point or a shift in the past, something changed. Let me just get a clarifying card for this. Okay, they're giving you two. No, nope, they're giving you three. Okay. Yeah, there was somebody who was at the crossroads. We have the Emperor Aries, King of Swords, the uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay, there was a decision that got made here. Okay, somebody took the lead, made a decision, something shifted, something changed. Um, some truth came out. Um, it was like an alpha decision, okay, in the past. Maybe that was you. Um, maybe you made a decision between two people and chose one over the other. Um, or you, or, or it was another person. Somebody in the past here was standing at the crossroads waiting for someone to make also a choice. And there was a shift and there was a change, which brings you to the present here. And right now, the Four of Swords, like nothing's happening. Nobody's communicating. Um, this is withdrawal. This is silence. Okay. Mm. There's an element here of silence. Of somebody not communicating or saying anything. Why? What's going on with that? Why is there a lack of communication here? Um, somebody in the past needed. Also, they're telling me someone to grow up. Or to make some kind of shift or a change okay lack of communication okay because somebody in the past was keeping their options open or dating other people okay so when someone's not communicating to one particular person it's usually because they're talking to somebody else okay so I feel like that's the why of the situation and why there's silence right now um, it's that somebody uh, their time is occupied elsewhere all right um, but something ended and it feels to me like this person if it's them which I feel like it might be this person is in this position of they trying not allowing something they want to have a new beginning but not allowing something to end they don't want something to end but right now they can't do anything about it because maybe there's no way to contact you it's a real challenge for this person for some reason to try to make some kind of proposal or love offer okay they know it's the best thing it's what so I feel like this person knows that that's something that you're gonna need from them like in other words if they're if they're gonna come forward in any other way it's not gonna be accepted and I feel like you're in this position where you're like this is this is what ha it has to be a real true type of offer it has to be like heartfelt it has to be sincere authentic and genuine Okay, but for some reason, um, this person, I don't, let, let me see why they can't get a hold of you. Okay, because I do feel like because they can't get a hold of you, they're occupying their time in other ways. Um, not necessarily with dating, um, it could be, and for others, it's just spending time with friends and um, distracting themselves because for some reason they can't get a hold of you. And why? Why can this person? Hmm. Okay. Four wands. Wow. So this is about structure and foundation. You're on like solid. You're on like a. Oh, okay. Hold on a second. They just gave me that old uh, fable from the three little pig, little pig, let me in. And, and you're like, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. <laughs> I feel like this person, you're not answering the door. You're not answering messages. So it's, it doesn't feel like a blocking because, I mean, if this was a brick house, then yeah. But this is just a frame, okay? So it's like you're not responding to somebody, okay? This person is, yep, see? This person is like... <laughs> They're not chasing like crazy, but their focus is on you, okay? They want to come in and make some kind of an offer here, but you're not allowing it. You're not, yeah, you're not allowing it. Virgo, this is you. It's, you're like, you know, it's got to be authentic. It's got to be a tangible offer. It's got to be like at least something that's going to 
how can I say this? And I feel like right now I have to sneeze. It's got to be something that I can get my hands around. That's the kind of offer. Like, I don't know, for some it could be like you need an engagement ring or a promise. Um, if it's, if, you know, it, or some type of like tangible offer, like something that can be felt and, and like, held on to i mean it could even be money like you're gonna have to pay me to go out with you <laughs> you're gonna have to pay me to do this because that's what it's gonna take um so like with that pentacle energy it's got to be like a real you know solid offer um their plans have to be solid in your head i feel like you're just not taking any kind of any kind of offer at all okay get the star it's interesting because I wasn't asking anything. So somebody here could be in the public eye or be in a position of, um, um, I just feel like out in the open, unique, like a star, like unique. It's weird. There's something unique. I feel like this person sees about you. There's something very special and unique about you. Um, their inability to let go though, I don't feel like, see, this is, this is a strange because codependency can represent like a sense of panic or the fear of abandonment, things like that. I don't see this person panicking. I see this person trying to temper themselves with temperance there. Um, just trying to, it's like, they're not going to give up, but they are, they're not going to make themselves seem like they're chasing. I don't know if this oh okay six of wands is here so this can represent like pride yeah where it sits here this person has their they have a little bit of pride in the sense where they don't want to seem like they're intimidated by you because for some of you you hold a position of accomplishment or recognition so they're a little intimidated and they don't want to seem like even though they, they have that codependency and even though they have this you know chase after gotta have you gotta be with you can't end i want it to end um ready to have this growth and this change they're in it's like in this position of also saying but but I don't want you to know that. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to come off as seeming desperate. Okay. That's interesting. So the sun is coming up here. Okay. Um, so what is going on here? So there's something coming out into the open success, joy. What's co Oh, okay. Lovers here. So a decision is getting made in the near future. Okay. A very, it's a positive decision about love. Okay, positive decision about love. What does this mean? Who is this for? Who's making this decision? Okay, King of Pentacles. So it's either you are making a positive, like a good coming out in the open about a decision about love that you're making going forward in July, or it's coming from someone, another earth sign. Okay, now let's see. Okay. Well, let me just say, position of you, you have the Seven of Swords. So I feel like um, this message here is you to, to uh, they're saying, recognize what the takeaway is in this situation. What are you taking away? For, if you're if you're walking away from or if you've walked away from this situation what do you take what do you take away from it what's your take away from this like what have you resolved about this connection your advice is to take a look at that and this also to hmm, i feel like run away or get away or take off or sneak away so in july i feel like that's the message that's the energy playing out here um go on a trip sneak away on some kind of travel or trip or um, just go without telling anybody. Yeah, just kind of four of cups energy. Just, you know, not make any decisions here. Just kind of be, act. I don't know if it's act or just be indifferent to some type of love situation here. I feel like it's, a, it's all about, you know, this person needing to show up in your life with the actual goods, you know, not just not just lip service but to show up like it's almost as if you're backing off or you've backed off and you're you're not pursuing you're not doing anything your thought process i feel like is 
you're just kind of, I would say you're hiding out, but you're just kind of moving away from this energy. Like, I feel like the more you pull away is kind of a test for you to see how this person's going to react to that or if they're going to do anything. Because I feel like you have in your head, you know, maybe you, Virgo, have put enough energy into things in other areas of your life. And if there's no return, you're not getting anything out of back back from that then you're just kind of like all right well i'm just gonna leave it be and keep moving and, you know whatever's meant to be will be okay which is some type of communication as i was going into this person there's communication coming from this person possibly even apology this person is trying to cut through they're going to get through and get a message to you somehow if you decide to read it some of you have maybe have already been receiving messages from somebody here um but yeah this person the truth is they're sorry is what i'm hearing they're tremendously sorry for maybe i don't know what for i don't know what something happened in the past i don't know what it was but they're sorry now remember this doesn't have to be a love uh romance this could be a friend a family member um love is an umbrella term we have all relationships with people we care about friendships romance acquaintances people we care about so whomever this person is i feel like they're trying to get a hold of you because they're to let you know that they've made a dis this decision to be with you they want to be with you they want to be that person for you okay this person how, do they, how does this person feel about Virgo? This is what we want to know. What are this person's feelings? Okay, well, here you are. They feel like you're very stable, grounded, very attractive, abundant, uh, very handsome, very beautiful, well put together, um, a little bit quiet. <laughs> Um, also, okay, they're giving you justice. They feel you're a very fair person. You can have a little bit of um, take charge sometimes, but I feel like they feel you're also a very friendly person. This kind of feels like to me, like the way they view you is that you're a very friendly person and that you enjoy um, socializing, but you also don't take any shit from anybody and they, they see that with that five of swords. How else does this person feel about you? Oh, okay. They, they, they think that you take your time with making decisions, but their feelings, hmm, they feel that you're, <laughs> they feel that rather than talking straight and direct to them, that you would rather just try to poke around to try to see if there's anything underlying going on with them like instead of talking directly to them or or anything like that or moving things forward they feel that you're a bit suspicious and that you're overly curious <laughs> and that you want to um you want to get all the answers first before you ask them any questions <laughs> Maybe so that you can catch them in something <laughs> you want to know first before you ask because they feel you have a um, Maybe an issue with trust or that you don't believe um, Right away with what this person will tell you you'll question it Okay, let me see and also that if you don't they feel that when they're not communicating with you I don't know if this is true or not, but I'm just telling you this is how they feel that when you're not communicate when they're not communicating with you They feel that you stalk them Okay. I know some of you are like, that's not my message, and that's fine. Okay. But they definitely have a, a thing for you, for sure. Very passionate for you. Okay. I will go into a little bit more. They think you're very creative, um, and they they love that aspect of you as well. Now, your hopes and fears. So you have the Eight of Swords. So there's a little bit like for you and this person, there's a fear of being trapped or, or being stuck in something that you know you, you you feel like you can't get out of, but you absolutely can. There's this there's a fear of being a victim in some type of a situation. And um, the hope is that that's not how you view each other. But the outcome though is very interesting. Four of Pentacles with the nine of pentacles so this makes me feel like there's like i'm holding on to my single life okay um i feel like both of you both of you it's like you want to be together but you don't 
because the way you're together doesn't work. I feel like this person wants to like show you that they want to be with you and that they can and that they're capable. But I don't know so much. It's like, it's like you both want to hold on to each other, but yet you both don't really want to. It's weird. It's the weirdest message I've ever gotten. It's like you both want to hold on to each other. You both admire each other and you're both attracted to each other. But yet neither one of you really wants to be. Oh, okay. That's what they're saying. Um, you both want to live separately, but still be together. Okay. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like, you know, you can come visit me at my home but you can't move in <laughs> and you're both kind of like that I don't know if this connection it's kind of like uh, there's something very strange and I'm gonna go into this a little bit more into the extended but I feel like uh, there's something here about boundaries and blockages um, we it's like you want to learn long term or you both will have that like you'll have a long-term relationship long-term security in a relationship when this person finally comes through and tries to bring clarity and I'll go into the extended a little more to see what else they're going to say um, and what they're going to do. But I feel like the outcome is you guys, if you decide to go with this person, that there will be this relationship that will last for such a long time. But I don't see, I don't see either one of you changing your, your, yeah, it's like, it's like, who did I read about? Um, two people who were married, but they lived in separate houses right next door to each other because they wanted to maintain their independence. Like they wanted to be together, but they didn't want to live together, which was, well, everybody does stuff differently. Okay. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm going to go into the extended to um, see what the, what this person, like what their actions are going to be, what else they're going to say to you. But let me get a couple of messages from the Romance Angels and that link will be below. Okay, yeah, separation. <laughs> See, I feel like you guys are going to be together, but you're going to live separately. Okay, maybe in your own different continents, different states. Um, okay, there's playfulness to recapture romance, let your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. This, this living separately is what I feel like the message is. Um, keeps the playfulness alive. There's no, for some reason, there's no lack of, um, there's no trust issue coming up based on what this person says and I feel there's more coming to it because they're bringing truth this person is coming through as being very tremendously sorry um and also crazy in love with you like an uh, and will express to you an overwhelming feeling of love towards you okay I feel like somebody here doesn't want it to end okay let your friends help you. So somebody's connecting with their friends at this time. But yeah, it's a reconciliation. Okay, there's a reconciliation and a release your ex at the same freaking time. That's very contrasting. Okay? <laughs> so I don't know what's going on there. I mean, someone from the past is returning and the time has come to clear the energy. Um, this message is very bizarre. Forgiving and learning. Okay. Oh, I know what they're saying. This is like release the X in the sense release. So, you know, in order to have this relationship go forward, there's got to be like a releasing and a forgiving um, in order for something to move forward. It can't move forward if there's like grudges or resentment or still holding on to past stuff. I feel like this here is going to clear that up. And yeah, a new love start. Okay, definitely. Um, Let's see what the Chinese sign is here. And then we're going to go into the extended. Um, let's see. Chinese sign for this person. <clears throat> okay. Year of the dragon. Year of the goat. Year of the ox. Year of the goat twice. A year of the ox twice. Okay. Year of the monkey. And year of the snake the pig little pig little pig let me in we got two monkeys year of the dog and year of the rat okay very interesting let me get a couple of charms okay 
Oh, we've got two hearts there. We have a bat and we have a frog. Okay. Amazon rainforest frog. Somebody's got a frog somewhere or likes these little Amazon forest frogs. Can you see it? Probably not, but you know, it is what it is. It's hard to see them, I know, because of the um, whatever. But yeah, there's a frog here. Something to do with frogs. It's those frogs that like they have those sticky finger pads. Um, it's connected to one of you somehow. You also have two hearts, okay? Um, maybe somebody has like a frog statue that has like little hearts on it or something, or maybe or somebody gets a, a card, um, a love card or a love letter or message. Why did I just feel that? A love card or a love letter that has frogs and hearts on it. Something to do with frogs and hearts, I'm feeling. And there's also a vampire bat. Okay, um, maybe somebody watches, somebody's name is Harry, <laughs> or somebody watches some um, vampire movies. I don't know, I just heard the name Harry, which is so strange. Um, or Michael, and uh, let me see, I just, they just said to pull one of these other cards here. I, they're just telling me like some kind of a card in the, in the mail or a birthday card or, or a, a card in the mail. Like a thoughtful card with a depiction of frogs and hearts. Maybe you, you got that or you sent that to somebody already. Okay. Okay. I don't know. All right. I'm going to sneeze. Hold on. I held back my sneeze, but I guess it didn't want to hold back. Okay, so this bat as well. Um, somebody likes baseball or plays baseball, um, I was feeling. And also, Halloween is a favorite time. Okay, that might resonate for some of you. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to go over to the extended. I want to see what this energy is playing out here, what this person's going to say, what their intentions will be, what their actions will be, why it is that you might actually agree to connecting with this person. I know this is not for all of you. So somebody here has a relationship situation that's going on where there's a reconciliation happening here and, um, there's going to be more to this story. Okay. So we'll see how they feel about you and what, you know, what, because I, like I was saying, I feel like there's going to be you and this person are going to try to find a way to make something work, but I don't see you living together. I see you living separately. Um, maybe for the endurance or the, the term, the long term of the relationship, living in different countries, maybe different States, but yet being together, um, or even just living in the same town or city, but living in different parts of it. Like, you know, Okay, so meet me over the extended the link is in the description box below and I will see you guys back here tomorrow. All right, take care